What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we finally entered the Dragon Palace, and in this episode, well, we did more than that. We also got an upgrade to our Water Spout technique, which now allows us to fast travel between Mermaid Springs without the use of Mermaid Coins. In this episode, we are going to be heading into the very bowels of the Water Dragon himself. Check that out. Ugh! Hmm? What the... Is that, it's that pesky water dragon? How many times did that rampaging sea monster almost finish us off? I know, like a whole once? So it makes its home here, eh? That's one huge nasty looking mouth on that thing. I think we could really go in there and come back out alive? I mean, we're not talking about the emperor's stomach here. You got a point. Well, we're gonna have to give it a shot. But for now, I'm just gonna collect a few things that the water dragon has decided to hoard. Let's not wake him up just yet. Well, there's actually a stray bead in here, so make sh absolute sure you'll grab that. And there's this, which is an infinity stone. And now, all I can say is, please don't close on us. And here we are, guys, inside the dragon. Now, this is actually, a, technically, a dungeon. Here we are. This is the water dragon's stomach, huh? It's just me, or is it unbearably hot and humid in here? Hmm, with the way this dragon is running amok, I'm sure we'll see all sorts of gruesome things down here. Just hope I don't lose my lunch. I think we're really going to find that dragon orb in here, Rami. Now, there is a few unsettling things in here, but for the most part, I think really the most of it, most of it just comes down to the fact that you realize that you're in the actual stomach of a living thing. I don't know. Either way, this dungeon uh, has no stray beads or sun fragments in it because it is not a place you can return to. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, of course... No, he's just gonna be like, hey, you guys can come back anytime. Of course he's not gonna be like that after this is over. So, you're gonna wanna get every treasure possible in here on your first go around. Make sure of that, because you'll never get another chance. Now, this episode is actually going to probably run a little bit long, because this dungeon is only gonna take the entire the video to finish, but as soon as it is over, as soon as it is over, there's going to be, or at least the dungeon is over, there's going to be a lot of things we need to do in a very short... Um, uh, we're going to have to do immediately, like, address without hesitation. So, this is a sub S. So yes, this is going to be a much longer video than what I usually like to do in this series, but it is actually necessary to do that, so... Just bear with me, this is going to be a long one. So we have a blue double scroll here, and eh, why not? Let's take it on, I guess. Oh, there's freaking chimeras? Seriously? Well, I have the perfect weapon for it. Come on. There we go. I'm going to miss my floral finisher on him, aren't I? No, I didn't, actually. Come on. There we go. Power slash. Perfect. Four demon fangs out of that. I'll take it gladly. That was a very easy fight. Heh. <laughs> So ba I like how he just, it just basically shows that yes, the fact the only reason we've seen a chimera at this point is because apparently the water dragon also likes this sake. I don't know. That's just silly to me. What? I think I got caught on something mid jump, and that's why I didn't really make that. That's not a very difficult jump to make, honestly. All right, open this one up, and this has got a vengeance slip again. All these things can only be obtained once, so don't miss out on anything while you are in this dungeon. All right. So this time we got a Crow Tangu and an Ubume. So let's take these guys out. Let's see if I can finish him. All right, didn't finish him. Now let's just do that. Missed time. Let's knock you down. Let's do that. Excuse me, sir. No, 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 no. Put that up. No, 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 no. Put that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Here. No, no, no. Put the. Come on, seriously? I'm actually having trouble with the Crow Tangu. Just hit it. Gosh, that was sad. Please tell me I still got a perfect rank on time. It's, yeah, I actually didn't deserve it, but... Oh well, I won't complain. Alright, one more Devil Scroll here. So let's do this. We got one of these guys. I always forget the names of these ones. These are not the Headless Guardians. I, I, I just can't remember their names. Almost got him, and Cherry Bomb. Oh, no, I overdid it. Crap! Friggin' Rosary. So I guess I should be doing... I should be finishing him off with my sub-weapon, but eh, whatever. Alright. So now let's head over this way. And actually, you're gonna want to head behind this waterfall, because if you look clo closely down there, there is a key. 
And that key, is, um, you can't really tell what that's um, relevant for at the moment, but of course, where there's a key, there is a lock to be unlocked. So, grab it and dig it with us. Now, let's head over to this, this way, to this, uh, to this power spring. Gotta remember the actual names of those. I never properly use it, like ever. Up here, open this up. Don't fall, please. Still Soul Sake. And I'm actually willing to bet that this is a Steel Fist. Suck. Ah, I shouldn't have been so indecisive. Gosh darn it. All right, let's try that again. That was a really bad jump. I hit I hit my head on it, like going, like on my way towards it. So I kind of screwed that up. And it's hurry before the power spring disappears. And second time is definitely the charm. So there we go. Open that up. No, it's an exorcism slip M. All right. I have not been using those, by the way, my exorcism slips. I think I need to, like, find, like, a time where I just... No, no, no. I know exactly when I'm going to be using that. When I'm going to be using it excessively. And that would be the Devil Gate Trials. There will be times where I'll literally just spam exorcism slips. And they will be gone so fast. All right. Oh, wait. We got an Earth Nose here. Okay. And actually, no, no, no. Not Wind. Uh, we need Mist. Come on. Hit him. Keep getting him. Keep getting him, and there we go. Perfect. Three demon fangs. I will take it gra gladly. That was not difficult at all. I'm heading over this direction. And why he has a lockjaw? Why he would ever have a lockjaw sealed uh, gate inside um, inside of him? I would never understand. But there is a save mirror over here. If you so choose to use it. I don't know how the boat got up in this little crevice of all places, but it did, and also the skull is like half the size of that boat. So that's just weird. And all the fish he caught that I guess he ate until he died. Now, this, this right here, this is basically kind of like a golden gate. Yeah, that was like making it glitch out a second ago. Um, it basically replenishes your health, your ink, everything when you go through it, though. It's basically an order. It's actually... I think those are actually more useful than Golden Gates. Those actually replenish your health and stuff. They basically do what mirrors do, but without the saving. But why that's right there next to the mirror, I'll never understand. It, but it is a new thing. And I believe we only see one more throughout the rest of the game. So let's open that up. Bam! The, uh, but the other one is actually in a much more useful location. And that right there is very important. What's up ahead? What's that? It's all tangled up in this flabby stomach muscle. Looks like a glass ball or something. Let's take a better look. It's a glass ball or something. Wait a second. I wonder if it's the dragon orb? Possibly, but we can't do anything with it at the moment. In fact, let me show you. Don't lock my controls, please. Bah, I won't budge. That water dragon sure doesn't want to give this thing up. Must be something really important. Alright, so let's head over this way. And it keeps locking my controls every time it switches cameras on that over here. I don't really like that very much. But, eh. Yeah, that does happen a few times throughout the game. I'll admit, that's another flaw. A dead end. I don't know where we are now, but I don't like the look of that red liquid there. It'd probably digest us in a second if we fell in. So let's not fall in. I have an idea. So that's dripping this liquid. I wonder if we slash this. Yuck, it's all squishy squashy. And what's with that bright liquid? Look at the bright red liquid that fall uh it's falling from it. Would you stop messing with it for a while? You're grossing me out. Nah, I don't think I will, Lee soon. I bet that fleshy mass is keeping a lit lit in there. A history of this thing goes. I'm warning you, you better stop messing with it. Let's see if I can get it this to go. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. That's right, sorry, sorry, that's not what I'm that's I'm not I know what I'm doing wrong. I actually want to get right here. And see this? This actually classifies as water. Let's use it on this thing. <laughs> Oops. What the heck are you doing? That red liquid is raining down now. What'll happen if that fleshy mass dissolves? Now you got me interested too. Alright, let's give it one more shot. So basically we're giving this guy... Ugh. Just all sorts of stomach pains. Not even cool. Ew. That is never a good sign. What the... The whole place is flooded with that key red liquid. We came to find a dragon orb, or not end up lunch. Well, luckily, lilies actually hold their own in this area, if only for a brief time. So, you're going to want to jump from lily to lily. Now, be very careful with the camera angle change right there. It can screw you pretty bad. So, yes, the stomach liquid does digest 
um, these lilies, so you can't- NO FROG DON'T DO IT! Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yes, remember the little easter egg where frogs will jump off of, uh, will jump off of lilies? Well, there's no exception here, so that frog just committed suicide. Ah, well, hopefully the water dragon likes frog legs. Either way. <laughs> gosh. That's so sad. Alright, let's keep going. Eh. Oh, barely made that. And jump. Whew, made it. Now, let's try it out on this m liquid, or this m fleshy crap. Yeah, that's what I like to see. It looks like it's breaking free. All right, you don't want to give it us to, to us willingly. I guess we'll do it this ourselves. Almost got it. And we've obtained the Dragon Orb. Nice work, Ami. We finally got that Dragon Orb. Now we should be able to break the barrier on Oni Island. Once Himiko locates the island on her crystal ball, the enemy's stronghold will be totally exposed. Right? Boy, you sure had a hard time pulling that orb out. I wonder if the dragon's gonna be okay. Let's go, Ami. Uh-oh. I mean, I got the orb, no use sticking around here. Right? Oh. Well. Things just got very interesting. What the heck? Are these the vengeful spirits of the people the dragon gobbled up? No, wait. These aren't spirits. That weird color can only mean one thing. Foxfire. Foxfire, what is that? Matrix dodging! Yeah! That last twirl is actually so cool, even if it's super unrealistic. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new enemy type. These are tube foxes. The only time you'll ever be encountering these things in the game. Tube foxes are nasty, nasty critters. They are super nasty and very, very difficult to fight. Watch out for them. You're going to want to use mist on these guys quite frequently. In fact, I don't even want to be freaking using the weapon I'm using. I'm going to switch back to the Infinity Judge for just a moment, and I'm going to put Exorcism Beads on Sub-Weapon, because I personally like the the Infinity Judge a lot more. So I'm going to use this again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack, attack, attack this guy. And there we go, mid-air. Alright, keep hitting him, and now that he is stunned, power slash him, that's going to kill him. I didn't get a chance to show his Floral Finisher, because yes, these guys actually have Floral Finishers. Um, so that is a thing. Let's keep using Miss, because that is the best way to effectively take care of these guys. So here, hold on, let's do that again. Hit him again, and while he is stunned, keep wailing on him so I can actually show off this guy's plural finisher. And bam, there we go. So we got a, we got two demon fangs out of that. Each one of these guys will net you one. There are eight in total. So keep hitting him. He's missed again. Thank goodness for the golden ink pot. These guys, they're nasty fighters. They're like mini versions of the canine warriors as far as their fighting style goes. But they have one very cruel, cruel uh, thing about them. And that is that they like to sap your ink like just very fast so infinity stones are actually very useful in fighting these guys and I gotta stop taking damage on them come on there we go and I, I hate that when you hit them enough it actually sends them into this kind of animation where they go flying in the air because that actually makes things very tricky um, for finishing off combos there we go All right, and I would love to there we go got my godhead back up a little bit because I don't want to take damage against these guys um, if you just keep spamming miss, these guys aren't too much of a problem. In fact, if you have to, there is really no shame in using Infinity Stones against these guys. In fact, it's almost... I almost did, uh, like advise that you do it. It's really useful. Let's see if I can get a full finisher on him. Perfect. So now we have the last three. And... Oh, they're doing their freaking ink, ink sapping dance. There it is, right there. So let's use that Infinity Stone. Get everything back so we can start attacking these guys. And they can't sap our ink away start doing a lot of damage come on keep hitting them okay so if we can just focus on one at a time it should be okay now infinity stones do last long enough to where they can be pretty useful try not to step in the fox fire that's actually going to um, cause them to do their little dance 
And there we go. Keep hitting them. So that's that's why they stay on the battlefield at um, for a period, a period of time. It's because it will actually trigger them to sap your ink again. So let's use that once more. Keep hitting them. Now I've got full godhood. Let's finish this one off. Come on. There we go. And don't you try to stop that. Cut that out. Think you're all cool? You're not cool. It's just me and you now, Buster. You were about to get destroyed. Just one on one. I probably don't even need to use mist on you, but I think I will anyway because I have full ink. And I want the floral finisher on you. So, it, hey, get over here. Yeah, that's right. That sucks, doesn't it? You don't like my sub rosary, do you? Bam, sucker. I didn't get perfect on time, but that's okay. If I'd have used an exorcism slip, it probably would have been a different story. Because there's also no shame in using those. Ugh, but I didn't. I don't know. I, I, I'd actually kind of just slipped my mind. I probably should have. But remember those things Rao was looking for earlier? The fox rods, if you will? What the heck was that? It was kind of freaky. It looked like a bundle of bamboo tubes or something. I know. I bet those are the fox rods that Busty Babe wanted. You know, that ultimate weapon against the Dark Lord and Isun's... Don't burp. That's, that's gross, dude. Oh, boy. I knew it. Should have tried to pull that orb out more gently. How else were we going to... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cartoon antics. I am too young to be digested. Let's get out of here. You couldn't have said it better myself, Isun. We need to hurry. So, it's time to frickin' book it and watch out for the black shadows on the floor because that is where digestive crap is going to fall and hit you on the way out. So be very, very careful of those. But don't stop running. We have to hurry. There's a time limit or we're going to die. Run, 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 run. I'm, I'm hurrying, Arrow. Don't, don't patronize me. Okay. Let's jump across this. And then across this. Go, go, go. No time for stopping. Holy crap. Ah. <laughs> faster, faster. Uh, gosh, this is this is a nightmare. Can you imagine? Can you freaking imagine? This would be horrifying. All right, let's not get hit right here at the very end. That would kind of suck. And perfect. Whew. Made it. Oh, no. Water dragon. It's dead. Now what are we supposed to do? We have the dragon orb, but no water dragon for it to control. No matter how hard Himiko tries to locate Oni Island, without the dragon, there's no way we can re break the barrier. Hey. Something's coming. Oh, what the heck? What is this, a brush god? Matras, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I'm afraid there's no time left for me to speak now. But I do need to thank you. What for? And who are you anyway? I am King Wada. King Wada from the Wata, if you know what I mean. The 27th King of the Dragonians. And the last bit of testosterone left in their race. <laughs> King of the Dragonian. So then... You were the Water Dragon? It was I, the Water Dragon, God of the Sea, Ruler of the Deep. Oh, great God of Matarasu. As you well know, there are ill omens heralding the coming of great strife throughout Nippon. Even the Dragonians have suffered under the forces of darkness. They seek to prevent me from using my power. The power to break the barrier that protects Oni Island. I waged battle against the Dark Lord and consumed the dark instrument he wielded. But the instrument lodged in my stomach and dro drove me to madness. 
and that would be the fox rods. Yep, indeed it is, Isun. Yes, the fox rods. Without the fox rods, the Dark Lord has limited power. Now all of the monsters are doing everything they can to locate them. I see. They're like a key to his power or something. Yes, Isun, that's what he basically said. I can rest easy knowing they are in your hands, Amaterasu. I also ask that you give my wife Otohime the dragon orb. Your wife? It's the heart of the dragon that will bring peace to my people. Alas, my end is near. I have slain many innocents while in the grip of madness. I pray that their souls may rest in peace in these watery depths. These deep blue waters the people of Ryoshima Coast so dearly love. Farewell, Amaterasu. I shall pray for your good fortune. Wow. That's really sad, actually. Uh, Otihime? We just killed your husband. Don't be mad. Also, here's the dragon orb. You can have it. Uh, now, I'd love to end the episode here, but we still have more to do before we can even stop to end the episode. Check this out. How the heck do you... <laughs> ah! Oh, I love it. Oh, Matarasu, you made it. <laughs> Busty babe. I saw the crazed water dragon thrashing about from the shore. So I hurried here to the dragon palace, just in case. Aw, uh, you don't have to worry about us. I mean, nothing can stop Olami here. Not fire, not water, not... Tell me, Amaterasu, what happened to the water dragon? Did he reveal the secret of penetrating Oti Island? That's not the only thing that's going to be penetrating in a minute. I'm sorry, that was not okay. Anyway, the water... Uh, anyway, the water... <laughs> sorry, Rao voiced on Isun. Wow, uh, Isun suddenly got all feminine. He turned into a dragon to protect the dragon palace. And also, here are these. You've been looking for these. Oh, no wonder. They all look like gl bottles of... Never mind. He even snatched these fox rods from the boss. Y you found the fox rods? Come to think of it, weren't you looking for these? Aren't they the ultimate weapon against the evil beings? Hey, wait a sec. What about you said... What about what you said about the fox rods? You know, about the ship sinking before they reached Himiko? Why did we search that stupid ship if they weren't even if they weren't really there? If you're still upset that I put you in danger, I'm sorry. But time is of the essence now. Give me the fox rods, quickly. Now you just hold your melons, babe. <laughs> Gladly, no. I mean if these monsters are frantically searching for them, whoever has them will have a huge bullseye on their back. And he's got a point. But Ami is trusting. Matarasu? I hope you know what you're doing, you big furball. It's an eerie light they give out, yet somehow alluring. With this, my holy powers will reach their limit. I can destroy every last demon there is. Protecting Queen Himiko with this great power, that is my duty. Don't worry, Matarasu. I must hurry back to the city now. It cracks me up every time. I shall honor my duty with my life. Oh, she's so freaking... Every single moment with her just cracks me up. It's amazing. With your life? Don't go getting yourself killed. Ah, she's gone. But finally! Almost. Hey, Ami! Quit spacing out. We gotta deliver that dragon orb uh, we got from the water dragon to Otohime right away. We probably can't count on the power of the water dragon anymore, but the Dragonians still consider the dragon orb as their treasure. We better return it to them. You got a pointy soon, but this episode really freaking needs to end. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, this has been the Squirtle King. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Okami very, very much. And before I click this last thing... 
Oh, actually, I'm going to click this last... Before I end it, I'm going to click this last thing, which is a treasure box, which is actually important to a side quest that we will be getting into at a later time. But for now, I will see you all in the next one.